Restorative Justice came to a neighborhood meeting and talked about their program, which seemed like a great idea. And also at the time, I was um, feeling really discouraged about the trash that I'd find, the beer bottles and in my beer cans in my front yard every Monday morning. RJCA was established in 1997 uh, through joint um, neighborhoods getting together to address misdemeanor crimes or the livability of their neighborhoods to make them better. This is a better process than going to court because he or she still going to be held accountable for the behavior, but this process is helping us to heal, helping this young person to know the impact of his or her crime, what they've done, and I think that, that makes a big difference. I think our DCA does a good job in doing that. Restorative justice is about, there was a bad decision made, let's fix it and kind of restabilize our social community here. We're, we're dealing with an individual from the community. So to send that individual outside the community to learn about that infraction, um, you know, it doesn't always work because a lot of times individuals come back with that resentment as though the community owes them because the community never embraced them as one of their own. So justice in that aspect would be, uh, I guess, restorative. It would have a restorative value to the community. They have a chance to kind of have a little more dialogue about the situation and how what they hear of each other's stories. And it makes it a little easier to give them the options to do right. Um, and also put up there, if you don't, these are the things that can happen. Um, so it's, it's, it's always beautiful to see that light come on, like, oh, I can do something good. Once you do something palpable, like some carpentry work in a church, it's going to be there for a long time. Working with restorative justice seemed like a much more constructive way of dealing with the problem. I was allowed to uh, be productive and a positive force in the community um, by just getting engaged with um, helping other individuals try to do the same thing. People are getting the idea that this is not a place to be doing those sort of things and that um, to respect the community. I'm not going to judge you. We're here to figure this out. How can we make it right? And um, thank them, in fact, for wanting to do this. But I think the restorative justice process brings it back to the community and encourage the community to take care of our kids. These are our kids. These are your kids. We always need um, continual support both in time and finances from our community and from those who really care about making their communities a better place.